Hi, so this is going to be my first uh, demo with uh, how I got the characters uh, to be in different poses, like the same consistent character in different poses. Well, fairly consistent in mid journey. So I've just uh, I set up a server in mid journey, and so I'm just going to show you. So if you look here, I'm just going to go through the main thing you need to know is this comment. Six panels with different dynamic poses. So I tried with multiple panels. Uh, I tried up to 12. It didn't give me such great results. So I found that my best was using six panels. So you'll see I like, I'm very much into dance. And so you see I have a lot of dance stuff here. But let's start. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this because this is the first one we'll start with. So if I go to mid journey, so to do this, it's going to be the backslash and imagine. Okay, so I'm going to use that character design, email action hero, six panels with different dynamic poses. Okay, so I just click enter and then we're going to let the bot do its thin. Actually, I can do the other, the other ones while we wait for that one. Um, okay, so let's try this one here. So this is just a regular character. It's not necessarily an action. Because this one you see here, I used character design. Okay, so now I'm going to go here. And go imagine. In there. Well, it's decided that it wants to take a long time to start. Okay, so you can see now that something is happening here. All right, so if you look at this, so I had said six panels, but it's picked, uh, sometimes it does eight. I found it varies. So I've also tried this prompt uh, on scenery because I, I, I want to find a way to actually do different views of a scene as well. I have like long term um, project that I want to use this mid journey for. Okay, so anyway, uh, this is now finished. So if I open this a little bit larger, so you see here, uh, one thing just to note like when you initially see it, you might see like the faces do not look great. So let me open it even larger. All right, so you can see here the faces look kind of blurred. Um, I have I don't worry too much about that on the first run because for, okay so let me close this and then i'm going to upscale let's say let's upscale these two so this is one two three and four so upscale two and four so i click on that and i'm going to upscale four as well so this one has also finished so again you'll see here if you look, uh, the character is pretty similar. This one, the, it's almost the same action. These ones are a little bit more different. Um, so it didn't do as much variation. So when that happens, I just like to change the prompt around a little bit. Like I might describe the person a bit differently or I might uh, change what they're doing. So, but I, like you can see here, like the hand is like in different positions. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to upscale one and two. They look kind of interesting. Even three, three kind of gives kinds of, right gives lots of different kinds of uh, poses there. Upscale one and upscale two. So if we go down there, see? So now you can see there's a bit more detail in the face. So when initially you see the, uh, the first iteration, still upscale it, see if uh, you can get better detail. All right, so now that I have this, so 
if I want to get additional characters, like, sorry, additional poses, what I would do is I would actually rerun this prompt. But what I have noticed for version 4 is that when you rerun this prompt, it will change the character. So we're gonna, I'll rerun it. But what I typically do at this stage is I would copy the picture. So, sorry, it's in French, but in English it would say something like copy image link. So I would just copy that and I would paste it back and then I would enter the prompt again. To give it more similar character. Okay, so I'm going to close this one and then I'll show you my, what I mean with the variation. As you'll see, the character will change a bit without the picture. Okay, so you see here again different poses. Yep, and that was just with one prompt. So that's pretty cool. All right, here. Okay, so actually, there were some differences in the in the poses. All right. Okay, so that's it. So that was the first method. The second method was what I was talking about. You copy the image and you add it. So you would also you would just do the same thing. So it'd be backslash imagine and then you would do a copy paste from that link of the image and then you would just copy exactly the same prompt all over again. I don't bother adding version four because I'm already in version four. Yeah. But I did try this in the earlier versions and it did not work as well. Okay. So that's it. Um, that's how I get more consistent characters. So let me just see if the variation for the other one came. Okay, so it hasn't yet. We'll wait a little bit longer and then you can see that if you don't add the image, it does kind of change slightly. So it's going to depend on what you want to do with your character. Okay, there. All right, so you can see there's been some changes. It's not looking too, too similar. Okay, so I will just go back up and so that you can see. So it was this one here. Okay, and so that's it.